Russian ambassador odious Lindsey Graham risks nuclear war over a drone. Senator Lindsey Graham, RSC, was copying it from all sides Wednesday night, annoying both Russia and Tucker Carlson, after the Republican suggested that the U.S. should shoot down Russian planes if they ever get near another U.S. asset flying in international waters. Russia was the first to bite back, with Anatoly Antonov, Russia's ambassador to Washington, reserving some strong words for the South Carolina senator. He wrote on Telegram and in Russian media that, the calls of some legislators go beyond common sense. The Ministry of Defense of the Russian Federation explained in detail the reasons and procedure for the actions of Russian pilots during yesterday's incident over the Black Sea, Antonov said. I repeat for those who did not find the strength to look at the situation objectively, our fighters did not come into contact with the American UAV. Russia did its best to prevent such incidents, it brought to the attention of the international community in advance information about the borders of the area of the temporary regime for the use of airspace established for the purpose of conducting the NVO. Of course it is a shame for the Pentagon to lose expensive equipment. But in this case, accusations of unprofessionalism by the U.S. military should be redirected to their address. Antonov also cited Graham's March 2022 tweet calling for the assassination of Vladimir Putin, describing his latest comments as by no means the first attempt by the odious legislator to provoke a dangerous escalation in Russian-American relations. Does the senator seriously believe that a direct military clash with Russia is in the interests of voters who entrusted him with the care of their lives and well-being? Intentionally attacking a Russian aircraft in neutral airspace is not just a crime under international law, but also an open declaration of war against the largest nuclear power. An armed clash between Russia and the United States would be radically different from a proxy war that the Americans wage remotely against us in Ukraine, Antonov warned. Is the capital ready to expose American citizens and the international community to the risk of all-out nuclear war? Answer, dear Senator. Graham made the original comments Tuesday during an appearance on Sean Hannity's Fox News show, where he was asked what an appropriate response would be following the downing of an unmanned U. S. drone over the Black Sea. Russia and the United States have offered differing explanations for the Tuesday incident. The U. S. says its MQ-9 Reaper surveillance drone was intercepted by two Russian fighter jets, one which struck the drone's propeller, forcing it down. Moscow has denied the accusations, blaming the drone's sharp maneuvering for the crash. The Russian fighters didn't use their weapons, didn't come into contact with the unmanned aerial vehicle, and they safely returned to their base, a statement by Russia's defense ministry said.